mae Cymru yn glytwaith o gynyfunoedd amrywiol. O fynyddoedd garw, prostiroedd gwlyb ac aberoedd corsiog. Ond mae yna un cynefin sy'n diffinio tirwedd Cymru a Phrydain fel dim byd arall. Cynefin lled naturiol mwyaf yn y deyrnas unedig. Y rhibanau gwyrdd deiliog sydd wedi clymu cynyfunoedd amrywiol cefn gwlad Cymru at ei gilydd am fwy na milenniwm. Mae dros 88 mil o gilometrau o wrychoedd yng Nghymru. Mae hynny'n ddigon o wrych i ymestyn ddwywaith o amgylch y byd. Hedges have years, said the old sooth, and every bush is something's booth. Silent as tombs, these creatures are so true. No gold, no gifts can subdue. Geiriau Henry Vaughan o Aberhonddi, bardd o'r ail ganrif ar bymtheg. They're absolutely culturally, they're very important. And historically as well, they're a real link to the past, a link to the people that worked in the countryside in the past and lived in the countryside in the past. Hopefully lamb a bit earlier, catch a bit earlier market, hopefully make a bit more money because the lambs will sell at a more, at a, at a better time of the year when there's not a glut of lambs. Hedgerows have got other values, um, you know, they act as carbon storage, they help with water drainage and things like that, which are just as important as in urban areas as they are out in rural areas. Erbod gwrychoedd yn ffurfio rhwydwaith o gynefin ar draws rhannau helaeth o Gymru, mae Cymru wedi colli tua 25 i 31 o'i gwrychoedd ers 1945. Immediately after the war, there was, of course, pressure on increasing food production, making uh, fields larger, agricultural equipment got larger, um, tractors got wider, so sometimes narrow uh, gateways and hedgerows were removed to make bigger unit fields. Um, looking at old maps, looking at old photographs, you can see there are far few trees in the landscape than there used to be. That there have been payments in the past to, to grub out your hedgerows to get larger fields. Fodd bynnag, mae yna ymdrech nawr i atal y golled hon. Gyda chyllid gan gronfa natur Llywodraeth Cymru, mae partneriaeth wedi ffurfio gyda cadwch Gymru'n daclus yn arwain, ochr yn ochr a choed cadw a phrifysgol De Cymru. The Long Forest Project is a way really of raising awareness and interest in our hedgerows. Um, it's a practical conservation project and we do a number of activities from um, practical hedge laying, which is a very skilled uh, task which people can learn um, in free training, through to something that is a little bit easier for perhaps uh, the younger members of the community. We do work with schools, which is looking at hedges, thinking about what hedges are, what lives in or around hedges and what sort of condition hedges are in. Ti mi di creu pac uh, sydd ar gael ar ein wefan ni i ar gyfer unrhyw un sydd ar ddiddordeb o, o fewn uh, plygu perthu a gwyrchoedd. Dyn ni'n cyd weithio dy bawb ar y prosiect yma sydd yn peth da iawn. Mae rhai o'r gwyrchoedd mae'r prosiect wedi bod yn helpu i'w cynnal eu rheoli a'u hadfer yn hynafol iawn. They have been planted on purpose um, for many centuries to create fields and to keep one set of livestock away from another. Uh, a lot of them were planted in the 18th century when uh, the Enclosure Acts came in and fields began to be enclosed. But some hedges actually date from much, much earlier than that. I think there are even examples of Neolithic hedges. Mae'r gwrychoedd yn gynyfunoedd hanfodol yn Hirwedd Cymru am li o greadyried a phranhigion. Maen nhw'n gartref i 47 o rhywogaethau sydd o bryder cadwraeth, gan gynnwys tair ar ddeg o rai sydd o dan fygythiad yn fyd eang. And if you think about them, they're really connecting through vast areas of the countryside, vast areas of farmed land, and enabling the dispersal of wildlife throughout those areas, connecting up with, for example, areas of woodland, river corridors. So they're a really important way that, that wildlife moves throughout the landscape. Many species of bats use hedgerows and other linear features for navigation, for foraging, for roosting. 
Dormice are classically a species that are associated with hedgerows and woodland habitats. And again, hedgerows are thought to be as important as woodlands um, as a habitat for dormice. Hedgehogs as well are another species that are associated with hedgerows and they find um, really significant, important cover at the base of hedgerows. And again, lots of good foraging. So hedgehogs will be finding things like slugs and other invertebrates um, to be feed feeding on in the damp sort of undergrowth associated with the base of the hedgerows as well as finding a place to hibernate. Bumblebees are a species that have um, unfortunately underg undergone significant declines over the last few decades and hedgerows are, th are thought to be an important um, habitat for particularly um, certain species of rare bumblebee. Hedgerows and particularly the margins associated with hedgerows provide a often quite a good diversity um, of flowering plants and not just a good diversity but a good diversity throughout the season that bumblebees are foraging so right from sort of April through to September. In terms of nesting and feeding yeah a whole variety of birds from typical wo woodland species such as you know blackbirds, wrens, blue tits, great tits um, they'll all find uh, nesting and foraging in good thick shrubby hedgerows um, which provide good cover um, good safety from predators, as well as providing lots of insects and things to feed the young. The, the margin in particular of a hedgerow can be a very important resource and, and really is a sort of a relic of something that was much, much more widespread. Erbyd y grychoedd eu hunain yn gynyfun oedd hanfodol ar gyfer y rhywogaethau hyn, mae elfen bwysig arall o'r gwrych sydd yn rhan eu conig o gefn gwlad Cymru. Mae yna amcam gyfrif o 1.8 miliwn o goed yn tyfu yng Ngwrychoedd y Deirnas Unedig. Maen nhw'n rhan bwysig o ecosystem y gwrych ac yn gynyfun oedd pwysig yn ei rhinwedd eu hunain. So we've got a lovely old oak here. We've um, got a, a row of hazel. Um, in there there's also a young ash. There's also a field maple. And if you think that um, there's 275 species of insects that will use oak as a food plants, there's 252 that will use hazel as a food plant, I think 111 that will use ash. So there's a whole habitat, both in each individual tree as well as in the row of hedges. Given that we only have 4 to 5 percent of our native woodland left in Wales, um, the habitat that hedgerow trees provide is hugely important, increasingly important. My gwrychoedd, nid yn unig yn nodwedd holl bresennol yn ein tirwedd wledig, ond maen nhw hefyd yn gynyfunoedd pwysig yn yr ymgylchedd trefol. Fel rhan o'r prosiect, mae Prifysgol De Cymru wedi bod yn cynnal ar olygon ar dir castell cyfarthfa sydd reit yng nghanol Merthyr Tydfil. There's only been a small deterioration in the condition of hedgerows across the whole area in the last 15 years, which is good news. However, what we have seen is we've seen loss of hedgerows, particularly through housing de development on the outskirts of the towns and villages. Hedgerows in urban areas are just as important as hedgerows in other areas, such as in rural and farming landscapes, because they do provide um, a harbour area for wildlife species. But also they've got important community value, and a lot of people like to see hedgerows in the area because, particularly when they're well managed, it gives them a sense of place and an understanding um, of the landscape around them. If people understand the importance of these hedgerows, then they're more likely to be able to protect them and get them managed effectively. Yn y gystal a darparu cynyfunoedd pwysig i fywyd gwyllt a chysylltu pobl a byd natur, mae gwrychoedd hefyd yn bwysig mewn ffyrdd eraill. Un o'r ffyrdd hynny yw i helpu i atal erydiad. If um, there's a big area without anything growing in it, the soil tends to get carried along by the water and goes into rivers and so on. So it can actually help to keep um, the quality of uh, the soil in fields. When you have a lot of rainfall, what happens is the, um, the water obviously runs into the ground and soaks into the ground. And what the hedgerows will do, alongside other species like trees, they will actually draw the water up and store it. And they will actually slow the rate of drainage into the water table. My atal llifogydd ac erydu'r pridd hefyd yn bwysig i ffermwyr. Yn wir, mae gwrychoedd o fantais fawr i ffermwyr mewn un ffordd holl bwysig. Big hedges, good hedges, a shade. It's like having a shed. The sheep will t snuggle up under the hedge in the wind on the cold, wet night, and you won't get the losses. You loads of lambs are lost from from hypothermia, and if you can give any chance of protection, 
it's a benefit to me, isn't it? If they, you can save, you save one lamb, it, it, it adds up. One lamb a night, it all adds up to, to significant savings over a lifetime of a hedge. Nid yn unig y mae gwrychoedd yn helpu i achub bywydau win i ffermwyr, ond mae rheoli, cynnal a chadw gwrychoedd yn droddodiad ac yn ddawn y mae llawer o ffermwyr yn ymfalchu ond Dechreuais i gyda'r ffermwyr ieuanc. Pob sir uh, gyda perthu gwahanol ti fod yn aber hon ti fy nhyn wedi gael uh, The Brackenshire style fel maen nhw gweud. Uh, yn sir fai syfyd maen nhw gael uh, clop, crop yn plic maen nhw gweud. Carfyrddi wedi yn gwahanol style. Mae'n bwysig iawn i pasio drydodiad am, ymlaen achos uh, unwaith mae yn mynd a'r uh, mae un cynhedlaeth wedi colli uh, sut i blygu, mae dim yn dod nôl ydy e. Mae'r gallu i rheoli, cynnal a chadw gwrychoedd wedi bod yn diflannu ers yr ail rhyfel byd. Yn y gysyl a cholli 25 i 31 o wrychoedd yng Nghymru, ancam gyfrifir bod llai na 44 y cant o'n gwrychoedd heddiw mewn cyflwr ffafrio. Felly mae hyfforddi a throsglwyddo'r wybodaeth o sut i blygu gwrychoedd i'r genhedlaeth nesa yn hanfodol os i ni am wrth droi'r diriwiad hwn. What we try and do with with hedgerow management is to is to avoid the bird nesting season really, and, and that that runs it, it does very little bit, but pretty much from March until August is the time when you want to really avoid doing much management at all on your on your hedgerows. It, it, it's good to cut your hedgerow once every three years if you can. It's given it a chance to grow properly. It's always good to, to not manage an entire area in one go and, and the reason for that is it's very useful to have mixed habitats. It's good to have a different age structure so you can have some young hedgerows, you can have some older hedgerows, some thicker hedgerows, some bushier uh, hedgerows. Again it creates that variety of habitats which is so important for wildlife. The types of plants that you want to put in there, the native trees really, will depend on the, what you're really looking for on your land. If you've got a lot of livestock, you know, you're, you're likely to have a much higher proportion of things like hawthorn and blackthorn. But if you're interested in, in, in having a diversity of species, there are lots of different wildlife hedgerow packs that you can get a hold of and from people like the Woodland Trust have great mixtures. Yn y gystal a dysgu sgiliau rheoli a phlygu, mae prosiect coedwig hir hefyd yn rhoi cyfnogaeth i ffermwyr i blannu gwrychoedd newydd. I saw an advert in the local paper for um, this long forest project, hedge, hedge and plants, contribution towards it. I thought that seems a good idea and I could uh, plant some new hedges. This field here was, was two fields originally years ago and the hedges went and it ended up as one field. So what we've done, we've um, planted uh, 250 metres of um, hedge, new hedge and plants and trees down the middle of this field. And the field back as it originally was, two fields. And I would say it would probably be um, best part of 50% contribution to the cost of the project. The project supplied me with the plants and the fencing equipment, and I supplied all the labour to, to put it all up. So it's, it was a big contribution to the job, yes. Yn ôl coed cadw, mae plannu coed newydd hefyd yn flanoriaeth a mae'n rhaid i ni fynd i'r afael â hi yn syth. Hedgelink UK has estimated that there are 1.8 million hedgerow trees in the UK and also that a third of those are over 100 years old. So whilst it's good to have many older trees because more species of animal will depend on those than on younger trees, we do need to keep renewing them. Many of our native trees are available from garden centres, but I would say always check that those trees have been sourced and grown in the UK because there are many pests and diseases outside the UK that can be brought in on imported stock. Os cae ffragor y goed i plannu a gwrychoedd i gosod a'u cynnal gyda chymorth gan fentrau fel prosiect coedwig hir, gall bawb edrych yn optimistaidd tuag at y dyfodol. Lots of people who um, live in countries of the world that are too dry or cold or arid to have hedgerows really appreciate our hedgerows very much. Dyn ni'n hapus iawn bod y prosiect yma wedi bod yn ynlwyddiant, ni wedi cael pobl y cymuned yn, yn gweud pa mor dda mae wedi bod i, I medru ed, 
gweld y sgiliau yma yn cael ei ddefnyddio'n hefyd i ddysgu i'r sgiliau. Imagine what it would look like if we didn't have any hedgerows uh, you know, within Wales. How, how much more poor would we be?